Hey guys, it's me from the future. In this video postcard, you're gonna see about a trip I took to a place called Dehab with some friends. It's on the Sinai Peninsula. It's right on the Red Sea and across from it is Saudi Arabia. But first, I wanna show you my hotel. All right, so we just got into our rooms for Dehab, hanging out with a friend named Mason. Um, so our room looks like this, two beds. We have a domed ceiling, which is pretty cool. But then if I go out onto the deck, um, first off, the sea behind me, which is amazing. And I'm gonna see if the exposure will show it. Uh, maybe there, you can kind of see it. That's Saudi Arabia, um, which I have now officially seen. As you can tell, I'm a little burnt and uh, my farmer's tan is pretty solid, but I am so excited. Later that day, we went swimming and diving along the coast, especially at a place called Blue Hole. It's a famous dive location. It's dangerous if you scuba dive all the way at the bottom, but if you're just snorkeling like we were, it is beautiful, full of coral and fish and absolutely amazing aquatic sights. It's so deep that when you step off the ledge and get into the water, it doesn't feel like there's anything scary in the water, but it does feel like you've just stepped off of an extremely tall building. And that fear of heights where your stomach drops really sets in just for a moment and then you swim out. Later that night, me and some friends stayed up all the way through the night uh, to watch the sunrise the next morning over Saudi Arabia, then the Red Sea, and then finally us and over Egypt. It was an amazing experience with people I have come to really care about, people who are interesting, and people who have a really special place in my life thanks to this time here in Egypt. There's no way to actually articulate what I was feeling, which is a common thread in all of these video postcards. So I hope you'll settle for just a little bit of footage that I'll play a couple times and one of my friends, Ethan, reading one of my favorite Mary Oliver poems. Until the next one, much love. Have you ever seen anything in your life more wonderful than the way the sun every evening, relaxed and easy, floats towards the horizon and into the clouds or the hills or the rumpled sea and is gone? And how it slides again out of the blackness every morning on the other side of the world like a red flower streaming upward on its heavenly oils, say, on a morning in early summer, at its perfect imperial distance. And have you ever felt for anything such wild love? Do you think there is anything anywhere, in any language, a word billowing enough for the pleasure that fills you as the sun reaches out, as it warms you, as you stand there empty-handed? Or have you, too, turned from this world or have you too gone crazy for power, for things? Mary Oliver, The Sun.